Hi, this is the uh, future home of the Fish Food Bank. It's here in Hood River. The community of Hood River is banded together to uh, support this project. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful project. The Our Redeemer Lutheran Church is letting us have access to the land. And as we did that, we thought about our construction and uh, made a few choices. So as we uh, thought about our future construction, we began to look at the idea that the 7,000 square feet of building, a lot of construction equipment, a lot of dust and dirt. Uh, after we're through with construction, we've got uh, distribution trucks coming in and out. This will be a distribution center for four other satellite food banks. With all that, we thought it's uh, in consideration of the neighborhood. We made it, we need to put a wall up. Uh, our considerations for that, our main goals were to make sure that we had a cost effective product. We're using donated funds, so to be good stewards of those, we're trying to keep our costs down as low as possible. We needed something that looked good. The church is uh, kind enough to let us use the property. We'd like to have something that doesn't look too industrial out next to them. The uh, third uh, consideration was for the landscaping. We wanted to make sure that we weren't going to tear up the neighbor's property and also uh, tear up the existing landscaping that's been here for years and years. And our fourth consideration was maintenance. We needed something that didn't require a lot of work. We're all volunteers and as volunteers uh, the, f the fewer days you have to come over and fix up the wall the better off you are. So our first consideration was uh, putting up a concrete block wall, similar to the one that you might see back there. Unfortunately, that wall has a two-foot footing underneath it. It has to be engineered and uh, is pretty expensive. Um, they have a short wall running back there. Ours is 127 feet. We were able to put this wall in for about a third the cost of a standard block wall. The second consideration is uh, maintenance. Uh, this surface uh, can be painted. This one happens to be amazing gray, which we thought was appropriate for church property. And it, uh, if, there's, uh, if we need to repaint it, if there's graffiti or whatnot, we can go to Lowe's and get a same color or a different color to uh, take care of that part of it. Um, as far as the labor involved, it took us two, uh, two half days to uh, put this together. One day digging the, get, digging the holes in there, filling with concrete. Second day putting up the panels. It went very smoothly. We had six volunteers. Uh, we uh, enjoyed the work. We had, fortunately, we had a representative from Rhino Rock come out and guide us through it to make sure that we didn't have to spend all our time looking at manuals, which we probably wouldn't have read anyway. And uh, it all went well. The, um, Last thing I want to mention is that the, we have the, uh, this tree out here. Is, it's been here a long time. If we had gone with a block wall, we would have cut the roots for that tree. Most of them are under blacktop right now, so the other half would have been cut with a wall. And we'd have had to remove that tree, which uh, is kind of a... It's, it's, it's something that uh, the people around here take pride in, is our, our trees and so forth. So if you're uh, thinking of doing a block wall and you're worried about cost and maintenance and uh, taking care of the um, and taking care of the landscaping, if you're interested in all those things, Rhino Rock may solve some of your problems. Thanks.